Today, I am watching Wild Book Garden. That's the top of her head. There you go. Oh, there's the rest of her head. Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to Small Booktuber Sunday. So, I've decided what I'm going to do with this. We're going to have this once a month. And one Sunday in that month will be Small Booktuber Sunday for me. And I'm going to give out uh, 10 shout outs. And hopefully that should keep me going for a little while. I've also previously done two shout out videos, which I'll link to below. There's a, there's a playlist with all this info in if you want to find out more. So I'm going to shout out 10 booktube channels. They're in no particular order. I'm also not necessarily going to stick to just small as in sub 1000 subscriber channels because there are also some bigger channels out there as well that you should check out that said i think all of the ones in this particular video are less than a thousand so without further ado let's get started so first up we are going for brews and reviews and basically all you need to know about these girls is that they are the british tea hags you know that's all you need you should be sold on this one now um they do some great stuff everything from um you know charity shop hauls and stuff like that to reviews wrap ups then number two we have spooky and boo and god knows how long it takes them to make their videos they're so well done they're well scripted but also can't, you can tell that they're voice acted if that makes sense or like that that the dialogue is acted but it works really well it, I, it seems to me like something that you should have on between shows on the Disney Channel or something like that they look at these great books and obviously spooky and boo two ghosts and um, just really lovely people as well just oh my god check them out <laughs> Okay, then number three, we have Lisa West Coast Reads, and somehow I've not given her a shout out before, so I thought I'd better fix that. Lisa is a good booktube friend of mine. She's again from here in the UK. She actually lives up in Scotland, and sometimes she goes out for walks, and you get to see the beautiful views around her as well. But uh, we're currently buddy reading along with a couple of other booktubers. We're reading through Cassandra Clare's work, but she reads a wide variety of stuff, a bit like me as well, so uh, definitely check her out. She's got fantastic taste. Okay, then we have Time for Books, and Time for Books is one of those YouTube channels where it's very much all about the books. So, um, you know, the host, I'm actually not sure of her name. I don't think it really matters. We're friends anyway. We, we all use usernames and screen names in this day and age. And um, she does a lot of things like Dollar Tree hauls. She'll show you different sort of series she's been collecting and that sort of stuff. And like me, she's a fellow lover of cheap charity shop or thrift shop books. And um, yeah, I really like the way that the focus is very much on the books. Then we have Night Fear, so Night Fear is a fellow horror lover, she's always been very supportive on my videos so I really appreciate that, but equally I do like her videos as well. She reads a bit of Stephen King which is always good, she's been talking about doing some tags and I don't know if she has done them yet because at the moment I'm like 8 days behind with my subscriptions at the point that I'm filming this. But um, yeah, she posts all kinds of a nice mix of stuff and I definitely recommend checking out her channel and saying hello as well. Then we have Melissa and Barnsey Reed. Now, I'll be honest, I watched this totally for Barnsey. Barnsey is Melissa's teddy and he appears in most of the videos. And um, I don't know what it is about her channel that I really like. It's, it feels very welcoming. She's just a very nice, genuine, down-to-earth person. But at the same time, she does have quite a wide variety of different books that she reads. And that's what I tend to prefer. I tend to prefer channels where you know they're not just reading YA or they're not just reading fantasy or whatever not that there's anything wrong with any particular genre I just like to see a big mix of it all jumbled together and that's what Melissa and Barnsley do then we have Jay Shea I like his videos because in the background you can see one of the old Macs as well but equally he, he does read the kind of stuff that I really like he reads a lot of Terry Pratchett recently when he reads a book that I haven't heard of, it tends to be a book that when I'm listening to him talk about, I'm like, okay, I need to get that book now. So it's a great channel for discovery, but equally, I just like to chat to him about the books that he reads because we have fairly similar tastes, I think. And he's, his channel's quite small at the moment, and that's a shame because it's actually great. He puts some great content out, so I definitely recommend him. Then we have Rainy Days and Stormy Nights, who has obviously the best channel name on BookTube, I think. I think it's named after a song, perhaps, and... Um, yeah, again, she has some fantastic taste in literature too and does read quite a wide variety, which is the reason that I, I watch her channel to begin with. But um, she's also also very active on my channels as well. And I, you know, I always like it when I can introduce two different parts of the community together and I start to see people on each other's videos. 
Okay, then we have Richardson Reeds, and he's another one who he'll be hitting a thousand soon, and so he'll not be getting as much love in the shout-out videos, I don't think. And that'd be a shame. He's he's done a full bookshelf tour. He's actually finished it now, but that's part of the reason why I'm doing mine. He's into maritime history as well, so it's not something I'm necessarily interested in per se, but I like to see his interest in it, if that makes sense. You know, I, I don't know. I, I think when people talk about things they're passionate about, it's really contagious, and he's passionate about books for sure. And you can see in the number of videos he's uploaded. I think he uploads pretty much one a day, which is what I do. And finally, we have Madeline Swan, who doesn't always necessarily post purely booktube channels but what I like is that she's got a bit of a gothic feel she's a writer herself I believe we actually both know the same writer called Lisa Cantoral as well which is very very strange I mean I watch Lisa's fiance on YouTube as well but he doesn't booktube but um yeah she's a really cool person and she has quite strange interests that are interesting again to look at so for example recently she did a book a video about reading Victorian newspaper clippings and it was fascinating really well put together as well so I, d I never know what she's about to post next and it keeps me on my toes and I like that so there we have it those are my 10 shout outs for this month I will be filming another video again next month and the month after and the month after etc if you want to recommend any channels to me then let me know in the comments and I will be sure to check them out and add them to my ever-growing list and soon I'll have a backlog of 10 days and 12 days or whatever but um yeah Thanks a lot for watching as always, please hit subscribe if you're new here, subscribe to some of the channels I mentioned, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this and I'll see you soon for another video. Thanks a lot, Bye bye